Yo, what is going on guys, Enkuch here, and today I'm going to be giving you the best tips that I have for crucible sniping. Whenever I'm streaming, people ask me the same question over and over, and that is, how can I be a better sniper in Destiny? And I see this all the time in my Twitter mentions, in my YouTube comments, and it's a pretty difficult thing to talk about because there's just so many things that people do differently in terms of sniping, but pretty much what I'm going to do is encapsulate all of the experiences that I've had in Crucible with a sniper and try fitting it into this video. Now, just a side note, some of this stuff might not apply to you guys, some of you might not, you know, like my style of sniping and that's why some of these tips might not necessarily apply to you guys, but hopefully every single one of you can learn a few things um, that you maybe didn't know before this video. So the first few things on my list are based off preference, and those things are sensitivity and controller vibration. Let's really quickly talk about sensitivity first. I think it's very important that you play at a sensitivity that is perfect for you, and I know everybody is unique and likes to play um, on high, low sensitivities, maybe medium ones. Just to give you guys an example, it took me over a year to actually lock down that perfect sensitivity. I started at seven, then dropped to six, five, four, and now I play at three and that is the perfect sensitivity um, and I haven't you know changed in probably over five months now. I feel like my sniper is very steady and even my primary shot has gotten a lot better because I don't move it around too often. If you find that you're probably missing your primaries and your snipers, you're missing your shots by, by quite a bit, maybe try lowering your sensitivity just by one or two and see if you notice a difference. Now obviously you're gonna have to play on it for about a week to get used to it but that's kind of of a given. The second preference based thing on my list is controller vibration. I personally play with vibration off on my controllers and I'm totally against it. Here is my reasoning. So let's say you're in a gunfight with somebody and they have a primary. If they're flinching you then that means your controller is vibrating which kind of makes a little bit of a subtle movement on your controller and in my opinion it makes your shots a little bit harder to land. You don't want more chaos when you're trying to be calm and collected and uh, land those headshots. You don't want your controller moving around and uh, just making it more uncomfortable for you. Now I know great players who play with vibration on and without it. That's again another thing that's based on your preferences but I personally don't like vibration. The first tip that I have for you is when you're in an engagement with another person, make sure you're very creative with your approaches and make sure that you're using cover to your advantage. As you can see that one guy was shooting me from the balcony and I pretended like I was going to drop down from the box, which I did, and then I hopped back on it immediately after. The guy was not expecting that, he stopped aiming down his sights and I had an easy snipe. Watch what this guy does wrong in the clip here. So as you can see, he knows I'm there hard scoping, but what he does is challenge me just by moving from the same place he came from. Instead, you have to slide around corners, hop on top of boxes, you know, come out from cover from the right side, then the left side, switch it up whenever you're in an engagement with another person. It'll confuse the hell out of them and they'll have no idea where you're coming from. The next tip that I have is possibly the best piece of advice that anybody has ever given to me and I'm going to share it with you guys as well. When people ask me what they can do to become a better player instantly, this is what I tell them. Use a low aim assist sniper for about a week, get used to it, make sure you have a great shot with a low aim assist sniper and then switch to something like the longbow, the thousand yard and the LDR and it honestly feels like the game is just helping you get sniper kills and that's technically what aim assist does it helps you land those shots a little bit easier now if you use a blue weapon that you can just decrypt uh, at the crypt arc that is perfect use something with a low aim assist you can check on google type in the sniper's name and then just followed by aim assist it'll tell you exactly how much it has in the clips that you're watching i'm using the red ldr i believe it's called the pompey it has about 20 aim assist and i was going off with it and then i ended up switching to a high caliber sniper such as the thousand yard and every single snipe was so much easier this is something that you can do before tournaments and it'll give you a massive advantage the next tip is something that I already included in a past video called Sniping for Dummies, but I thought I'd include it in this video because it is very important and I don't think everybody saw that video. 
When you're sprinting with a sniper out, there's something that pops up in the middle of your screen. For the sake of this video, I'm going to call it a reticle. And this pretty much tells you exactly where the middle of your scope is and the middle of your screen is once you stop on sprinting. So this is very important. I always make sure to stare at that thing whenever I have my sniper out and I'm sprinting because if somebody randomly pops around the corner and you need a quick scope them, you can easily see where your sniper will be aimed in just by looking at that little object. It's very small and a lot of people might not even notice it at first but it's there and it is this essential key to getting those very quick snipes. The final small tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you're always looking at the center of your screen. Now I know obviously there's times where you definitely want to look at your radar and your ammo count and all sorts of different stuff but don't concentrate too much on the heads of the enemies when you're trying to go for headshots but rather focus on the middle of your screen where your scope will end up being after you scope in. This has helped me so much with drag scoping and quick scoping it's actually unbelievable. But that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. Drop a like as it supports the channel. Have a great day and I'll see you all later. Peace.